How many of you have used uh, a tool called TouchGraph? That's what I thought. This is going to be good. Um, how many of you have heard of the word authority sites as it relates to search? Right. So if you look around, almost everyone says, well, yeah, you know, I've heard of authority sites. I kind of know what they are. You know, if it's the NFL site, it's probably about football. I get it. But most of you um, probably have not had an easy way of identifying who the authority sites are on a specific topic, who they link out to, are they linking out to your competitors and finding it without having to spend a lot of time yourselves or to have an intern or somebody also do it. So I think the easiest thing with, with linking, and people say it's kind of flippant, but it's very true, is very often people, I don't want that, people don't develop things of value. They really don't develop things of value. They put up a video on YouTube because that's what you're supposed to do. But yet they don't go, well, is there something in that video that's actually going to be valuable to the people who view it? Well, I don't want to give away all my secrets, people will say. Well, you know what? If you don't give away something, nobody's going to find, nobody's going to find any value in it. Um, my videos have been somewhat um, helpful to our business because I am so open and I give so much out. Speaking of which, if you put your card up here at the end of the presentation, you will get all of my links, all of my bookmarks, everything that I use. All the tools we're going through today are free. So don't believe you've got to pay a lot of money for tools to do SEO well. I think most of the tools actually suck. Um, so put your card up here. Sometime with using the next two weeks, I'll have the time to get them all together and then send you out all of my bookmarks. I usually try to filter it down to only like the top 20 or 30 I use so you don't get deluged with stuff that really doesn't have as much value.